Hello. Hello. My name is John Capobianco, and this is my AI avatar. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I went from an image of myself to this 3D GLB file, and then how I synchronized it in a South Park or Muppet fashion with the audio. So the top and bottom halves of this GLB are synchronized with the streamlit audio file. This is my very first AI avatar. And if you could look beyond maybe the crudeness of the image and think about the possibilities here, we're going to explore this a little deeper. Thank you so much. All right. So that's pretty cool, right? An AI avatar of my self. So how did we do this? So let me call up some assets here. Let me start sharing my screen. And um, so I have this, I uh, will come back to the code in a minute. I have this, you know, this is my sticker. I have these stickers right here, right? So I have this, a, you know, image of myself that's kind of become my brand in a way. And I went to meshy.ai. Now this is not sponsored by Meshi or anything. It's a, it's a really good resource I found. They give you a hundred free tokens. So this is what the first rendering looked like. And this one here in the bottom right corner actually rendered out to look like this. And I was pretty happy with this. Maybe not so much with the nose, but you know, I know my nose is pretty big, but the eyebrows and the eyes and the beard and even the shading in the beard, this I was happy with. So in my code, right in my a to a agent in the main file i do have to be able to take in audio as a url where we're posting that wave format from the recording we're then transcribing this and sending the transcription off to ai to get the answer and return the answer back as audio to the client now in streamlit i have this streamlit app and here, I want to highlight this line right here. If you want to use this code, the code is available in the GitHub. All you need to do is follow the process I just showed you and replace the capo GLB with your GLB. All right, now, one thing I want to really highlight is this. I'm using the Streamlit components. Now, components let me incorporate the component HTML and call in this flapping avatar HTML, which is all of the JavaScript required to um, animate, you know, start the animation, uh, all of this great stuff. Right now there's flap intensity. There's a lot of things we can adjust here, but we can see the top half and bottom half because I want to split it in half like a South Park thing, right? Now, somewhere in here is the vector. Let me look for 0.6 uh, right here. So this is where we're splitting. So you may need to, if you upload a, you know, an image, tune this variable between 0.6 and 0.4 to get the split correct. All right. Otherwise, you shouldn't need to touch either file. We bring up the Docker Compose. And let me refresh this. So we're going to auth with our Google and uh, do our two-factor authentication here. And we're going to record our message. And let's do something network automation related. So let me get the avatar ready here. And uh, let's do something network automation related. And my VPN's up. Yeah, VPN's up. All right, here we go. Check this out. Could you please help me understand the differences between the routing tables for device R1 and device R2? The devices have capital letters for R, and I'd like you to help me understand the routing tables for each device and compare them. Thank you. All right, so you can see it's running here, and there's my original message that I could play back. But let's head into the agents and into the container world. So if I go to my A to A, we've received that and we're handling it locally. 
All right, so you can see we're calling the land graph locally and we've created a thread. Inside of this thread, inside of my land graph, you can see that I'm calling R1 show IP route through the model context protocol. So if I go all the way to the top of this land graph, just to give you an idea on what this looks like, let's take a look at it. I know I'm diverging a little bit, but I just want to show you Sorry, I got something on my keyboard here. Hang on. So this is the Lang graph. All right, and we have a start, a select tools, and then our tools, and the tools are the MCP, and the assistant is bound to ChatGPT. All right, so if we look back in the containers here, the first thing we're doing is discovering the different MCP tools, which are all PyETS. Now they're all bound to the LLM, and when the prompt comes in, we're selecting the right tool to handle this job, and it's selected the um, right uh, show I, the parse, the PyTS commands. Right now, if I go back to my agent here, it should have pulled and posted the answer back. So if I go back to my agent, now you can see I have the answer as text and as audio, three and a half minutes, right? So um, there's a little bit of duplicate here, and I'm, that's kind of weird, but let's go ahead and play it and watch the talking head, all right? You, you asked. asked. Could you please help me understand the differences between the routing tables for device R1 and device R2? The devices have capital letters for R, and I'd like you to help me understand the routing tables for each device and compare them. Thank you. To compare the routing tables of devices R1 and R2, we need to gather the routing table information from each device. This can be done by executing the show IP route command on both devices. Once we have the routing tables, we can analyze and compare them. Let's start by retrieving the routing tables for both devices. I'll execute the necessary commands to gather this information. To compare the routing tables of devices R1 and R2, we need to gather the routing table information from each device. This can be done by executing the show IP route command on both devices. Once we have the routing tables, we can analyze and compare them. Let's start by retrieving the routing tables for both devices. I'll execute the necessary commands to gather this information. To compare the routing tables of devices R1 and R2, we need to gather the routing table information from each device. This can be done by executing the show IP underscore route command on both devices. Once we have the routing tables, we can analyze and compare them. Let's start by retrieving the routing tables for both devices. I'll execute the necessary commands to gather this information. I've retrieved the routing tables for both devices R1 and R2. Let's compare them. Routing table for R1, 111024, connected via Ethernet 01, 111132, local via Ethernet 01, 10.10.10.024, connected via Ethernet 00, 10.10.10.132, local via Ethernet 00, 2020.0/24 static route via next hop 111.2 routing table for R2 111024 connected via ethernet 01 111.2/32 local via ethernet 01 10101024 static route via next hop 111111 2020.20.24 connected via ethernet 00 2020.132 local via ethernet 00 key differences 1 local routes r1 has a local route for 111132 while r2 has a local route for 111132 this indicates that r1's ip on the ethernet 01 interface is 11111 and r2's ip is 11112 2 Static routes. R1 has a static route to 2020 2024 
via next hop 11112. R2 has a static route to 10101024 via next hop 11111. 3. Connected networks. R1 is directly connected to 10101024 on Ethernet 00. R2 is directly connected to 2020.0/24 on Ethernet 00. These differences indicate that R1 and R2 are likely configured to route traffic between the 10101010/24 and 2020/2020/24 networks, with each device having a static route pointing to the other for the network it is not directly connected to. I like that. It's really cool. Really cool, I think. The South Park, the GLB, MyFace, the AI analysis of the routing tables is perfect. Uh, it adds a humanist characteristic to it. I know there's a little uncanny valley. I know it's a little creepy. Um, but, you know, this will evolve with eyeballs and tongues and teeth and a real good shape. Um, but I've had a lot of fun with this and to see it literally synchronize with the highs and lows of the waveform you know there's some real technology going on behind the scenes here that's pretty exciting the other thing is like we could plug and play um maybe we should try it maybe we should try it so uh let's give it a go all right so let me bring this down uh and swap out models real quick and I just have to go in and find my model. I think it's uh, so. The only thing I need to change is here. And if I change this to Connie, and if I go into my here, and let's make that, what was it? Uh, I think 375, something like that. Let's try it. Let's try it. Right, so now all I need to do is bring this up. And I'm showing this for you, because you can go to Meshi, make your AI head, swap it out for mine, and let's take a look at this one. So we're gonna authorize to the Gmail, paste that in, and check out this new model, right? Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Now, because this is AI rendered to begin with, to begin with, it actually renders much nicer than my uh, human face. So, sorry, if I um, if I show you here, it's got like, you know, cybernetic augmentations on either side. It's got the cybernetic eyeball. Pretty cool, right? So, right, if I, I just record here and say, Hello, my name is Connie. I am an AI synthetic being. How can I help you? Right. Hello, my name is Connie. I am an AI synthetic being. How can I help you? And if we wait for the answer. You asked, hello, my name is Connie. I am an AI synthetic being. How can I help you? Hello, Connie. It's great to meet another AI. If you have any questions about networking, need assistance with network device configurations, or require help with automation tasks, feel free to ask, how can I assist you today? Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So um, again, the code's out there, or we could work together. If you wanna work with me and send me a GLB, I'm happy to host it and uh, swap it out and try it, and we can play with it. If you want to record something for your kids, if you want to record something for your boss or a colleague, if you just want to do it for yourself to do it because it's cool, you can use my code or you can reach out to me. Uh, I'm really excited about this. This is a lot of fun. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.